Hey YouTube, what is going on? This is iTalk. Here, and in today's video, we have a brand new video. So today we're gonna be talking about the new update that we got today in Fortnite because there was a decent amount done, I would say. And also I just wanna quickly mention here, I know it's completely pointless, but I woke up for this update at four o'clock. I looked through it all for about three hours, went back to sleep for an hour, I woke up four hours later, so it's like noon for me, and I'm wide awake. I didn't get my coffee or anything. I I don't know. I wanted to sleep for an hour. My Even, even my alarm didn't wake me up, so yeah, but I did get to see most of the update. I think actually I pretty much saw everything in the update. I think a lot of people are going to be upset with a few things that they have done in the update, but... Let's start from the very beginning. So Fortnite on Fortnite.com, if you go to the news tab, you can actually see a few things here. There's actually four separate news posts, which is pretty crazy. They have one for creative. They have one for save the world. They have one for a chapter two season one extension, which I will go over soon and a battle royale update. What's new in 11.20. Actual patch notes. They actually gave us actual patch notes, which is fantastic. I'm glad that they're actually communicating with us now. I already see people complaining, and I know this is exactly probably one of the reasons why they didn't want to do this, because they know that people were going to complain about what they changed or what they did. So with creative, there's nothing too crazy there. Save the world, same thing. Save the world got a lot of really cool updates. They got dungeons. They got the mythic Storm King fight, which I heard is actually really tough. And we have the Chapter 2 Season 1 extension, and we also have, like, what's new in the game. And pretty much all that that's new is they added daily challenges back, which is fantastic. So, now you pretty much have no excuse to not hit level 100 this season. You have daily challenges, you have the weekly challenges, and you have the daily punch card. You have a lot to get XP from. That's pretty crazy. Also, they have a new filter system in the locker, which you could type in the season in the search bar, and you'll get items based off of that season. Now, this is actually currently kind of busted in a few areas instead of the items that were introduced in that season it actually seems like it's the introduced items in the leaks there's a lot of skins here that say they were from season one even though they were clearly from season two there's skins that were from season six but they're actually from season eight because they were leaked back in season six it's very strange but i kind of figured there was going to be a hiccup with this because i didn't expect someone to actually go back and look at every single skin in the game and manually put in which season they were from but overall this is really cool most of them are correct but there are are some very glaring issues like crack shot is season one now okay that makes sense i guess so but it's a cool thing it's a nice little quality of life change that is something i didn't even need but i'm glad we have it they also adjusted the ui contrast which is something that i would never mess with they added a tutorial playlist for mobile players which i wish they would kind of bring that to the normal game as well like, I don't understand why this is only for mobile, but you know what? It's totally fine with me. They added the Microsoft Direct X12 support for PC. I haven't messed around with yet, but that's really cool that they're adding more support for PC. Maybe they could do that for console as well, just saying. They adjusted the headshot multiplier of the tactical shotgun, so it's now in line with the headshot multiplier of the pump shotgun. You know, this is a nerf to the tack, but a buff to the pump. It's not directly a buff to the pump because the pump isn't getting any more damage, but now that it's more in line with with the tack, it's actually a little bit more viable to use a pump now in certain situations. So this is an indirect buff to the pump and a nerf to the tack. And they also increased the effective sum of health plus shield given from slurp tankers. Totally okay with that. They did some bug fixes here. They resolved the bandage bazooka issue. So now the bandage bazooka is now in the game. You can now get that edit style for that one character. I forgot her name already, but yeah, you can get that now. They address some hitching issues on consoles as well as on mobile devices. They fixed some hair on different characters. They did mess up on Bandalette's hair though. Bandalette now has like this weird stem of hair just jolted out of her head. It makes zero sense. So you know, that that's a little bit of a glitch. I got to fix that. But besides that, pretty much everything is a plus. All of it is pretty much quality of life changes, and I'm very happy with it. Now, there's a few things that people are not happy about, and we're going to go over that right now. So the first thing I'm just going to blatantly say is that we got nothing new. There was nothing new added to the game. We didn't get a new gun. We did get some guns in the files that will be coming soon, but we got nothing new in terms of mobility. Nothing was added to the game, which is really kind of bizarre to me, at least. I know I say the word bizarre a lot, but it's true. We've been playing the season for a month and we got one new item. And granted, the harpoon gun is fantastic. I'm very happy that we have it. Very balanced, very fun to use. But 
we didn't get anything new in this patch for a new weapon or a new mobility tool. Like we didn't, we couldn't get like a car or the ATKs back or anything like that. We didn't get anything. So that leaves some content creators annoyed because a lot of content creators revolve around items being introduced into the game so they can make a video off of it. I totally get it. Laser B made a video saying he was very annoyed with this whole thing. I totally understand his reasoning behind it. I think they are playing a little too safe with us with the items. That will make people burn out of the game faster because there's just less variety, there's less hype, there's less anything in the game when you don't put in items in the game. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. I said how much I disliked a new item every week, but at the same time, that's what kept the game fresh. So we'll just have to wait and see what they actually end up adding this season. But yes, there is a Chapter 2 Season 1 extension. This is pretty huge. So they said here, they said, Hey everyone, with the new year comes new beginnings. Last year we celebrated 14 days of Fortnite over the holidays. This year we've gotten even more content for you to unwrap, including new game features, free rewards, and a live experience that you won't want to miss. To prepare for all the holiday-themed updates, we will be extending Chapter 2's first season into early February. Get ready for winter, the Fortnite team. A lot of people upset about this. A lot of people like, oh man, we want this season to end already because of how bland it is. This is a good thing in my opinion. I'm very okay with a Chapter 2 Season 1 extension, and I'm just going to go on Twitter. I'm just going to tell you guys what I actually said before I fell back asleep, because it actually, I think it makes a lot of sense here. So I said on Twitter, I said, I personally don't mind the Season extension. I know that I'm probably one of the only people that don't mind it, but really think about it. Fortnite's employees have been time crunched into oblivion ever since Season 3, adding new skins, new battle passes, items every single week. As long as they keep slowly adding worthwhile things into this season, I I personally don't have an issue with this. This is exactly why Fortnite didn't want to share any sort of information with us. They knew people were going to be upset with them no matter what. People are seriously complaining nothing was added into the patch notes, which when indeed we got some really nice quality of life changes, I wanted communication and we got that. We should be happy for that. Like I said, as long as they keep the season fresh, I'm on board. I'm excited for what they're planning for us, and we should be grateful that we have a season as balanced as this one. Yes, I want more mobility. Yes, I want more transparency, but we shouldn't act like this just because of the season extension. Plus, making a battle pass around a season gets outdated by like three weeks anyway. This is fine decision in my opinion. And when I say that, I mean like if they made a Christmas themed battle pass, it would pretty much be outdated like right away. And then I also said, now I will say getting nothing in terms of new items slash weapons in this patch was annoying. We've been waiting for a long time for a decent patch, which we got, but we didn't get any mobility. We didn't get any new guns added. They are really being careful with the loot pool this time around, and I have to firmly agree with that, even though it's my own statement. So obviously I would agree with my own <laughs> I would agree with my own statement. But did we get any new items out of it? Absolutely not. We got a lot of quality of life stuff, which is fantastic, but the lack of anything new coming into the game in terms of anything to mix up the loot pool just a little bit is a little bit upsetting. But I don't want you guys to be upset that this season is getting extended. If anything, this is pretty much a good thing for everyone all around. They're giving you so much more time to finish up the battle pass. They're going to add things into the game to make you keep playing the game because they know themselves that they're giving you a ton of ways to earn experience. It makes sense for them to want to add some more incentive for you to keep playing the game because once you reach level 100, I doubt many people are going to be playing the game besides getting the weekly challenges done to get the added styles and the secret skin and everything like that. But besides that, I think this patch was very good. And then finally, we got a ton of skin leaks and I'm very excited to see them in the item shop. And I don't want to talk about them in this video. Maybe I'll talk about them in another video. I'll leave a poll right here. Vote on it. If you want me to make a separate video talking about all of the skin leaks that we got in depth, I will totally do that for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed, let me know the like, but only if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and turn on the bell just go my latest uploads. A comment down below. What are your opinions of what I talked about today? Are you okay with the chapter two season one extension? What do you think about the quality of life changes we got in this patch? I would love to know. Follow me on Twitter at iTalkFortnite. Follow me on Instagram, I can talk Fortnite. And if you would like to use me for support a creator, my code is iTalkFortnite. Thank you all so much that use that code. Seriously, it really does help me out a lot. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you all later. See ya.